You know, previously in my research, every six months or so, there'd be some story that made everything click into place and only confirmed what our analysis. You know, as we follow this roadmap of the New World Order, we know the direction they're going in, but as things develop and time unfolds and as hindsight comes in with more of what they've done in the past, we get a clearer picture. This is one of those. This is an absolute mega emergency. I have sent this to Paul Watson. This is one of those things also that I'd already knew about but couldn't triple confirm. So it's one of the things I just move on, just like I have this FBI training video that'll make the MIAC thing look tame in comparison. I've been too busy for two weeks to even get it up. And I'm not whining. I'm just telling you, folks, it almost just makes me fluster and, and you know get out of control here on air because the evidence of total tyranny world government admitted is just pouring in my beloved republic that my children live in, that my family has been here for, you know, since the Mayflower and founding Texas. And I love America. And it's being flushed down the toilet by a bunch of offshore banks. And they're making all the troops now in the army uh, r report in their private lives, uh, you know, and they're, and they're now doing this phased in. They're testing it, even those that are off duty or those that are on leave, or those that have their own separate homes to list all their firearms and make, model, and serial number. I mean, that's high treason. There's no, I mean, folks, it's so evil. And and most of the veterans I know can't buy guns now. They've already implemented all of this. And uh, Clinton banned 86,000 vets from owning guns for no reason. Remember when he left, but it only continued. And, uh, you know, the no-fly list for veterans, that is the no own guns under the no fly list is already in place. I'm going to break that down and then go back to your calls. But Paul Watson, I just emailed you at your uh, DJ account. All active duty members heads up. And this just came in uh, minutes ago and uh, about 30 minutes ago. And we did some checking on it and uh, confirmed that this is the battalion and that this went out. And just like people were in denial about the MIAC or the DHS report or all the other reports we've broken or the secret army reports, how they're spying on us, and later it comes out mainstream news, this is confirmed. Now I want to read this to you, Watson, and I want a story, a blurb about this now, and then beef it. Doing a great job. Watson's my go-to guy. Gentlemen, I am with the 11th B currently assigned to Fort Campbell. I live off post with my firearms, which I don't bring on post for any reason. A very frightening thing happened at work yesterday. I was ordered to fill out a list containing my firearm information. This includes make, model, caliber, and serial number. This is in his private life. He shouldn't have to do that. Of, of all firearms I currently possess, in addition, I was also required to list registration information, location of all weapons individually, and information regarding any CCW permits I possess. If you are like me, then the people uh, you work with know you have firearms. So I had to list at least one. I tried to talk to my first sergeant, who's normally approachable through proper channels, to find out what this is for, and I was basically told, just put your info on the form. I don't know how high this goes, but I'm hearing that this is going on in other units at Fort Campbell as well. See, I heard this was going on in Austin. You can put two and two together where I heard it from, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Camp Mabry, okay, it's no secret. It just seems a little coincidental to me that within 90 days, the most anti-firearm president in history is inaugurated. Some of the nastiest anti-firearm laws are put on the table in Washington. Then the Army comes around wanting what amounts to registration of all firearms, even if they are off post. It doesn't provide any real information or purposes as to why. Because it's really happening. They stole $14.8 trillion in seven months. They're going for broke. This is it, dumbasses. There's no more time to screw around. Get yourselves in gear, police, that serve this system, and realize, decide whose side you're on. Cut all the crap. I saw all these police videos from around the country, Indiana, California, you name it, where cops run up and boot kick suspects in the head when the guys have got their hands out, and then the police defend it and say, they were just positioning his head. The guy kicked the head, blood's flying, you know, just boom, total power, guy's knocked out, and they go... We, that isn't physical assault. You can just kill somebody. We, we teach him to do that. It's head positioning in case he might have tried to spit. First he said, oh, he spit. Then later it was on the video. He, the guy didn't spit. He's like, I'm, I'm submitting. And they kick him in the head, do high fives. And then the cops come out and defend it. And I hear Austin Collar's radio going, yeah, they shot those two guys in the car. You shouldn't be in your own car at night. They deserve to die. Well, the bankers deserve to take your bank accounts then. They deserve to have to You understand tyranny isn't cute. Tyranny isn't fun. I'm sick of it, man. I can't handle it anymore.
What do you think freedom's all about, you bastards? You people that serve the system. And I'm not talking about all the cops. I mean the ones that are bad. Because you're the ones they're going to use against us. I'm talking to you all the time because you're the ones they're going to use like in Germany and Russia and China and everywhere else. Cambodia, Cuba. The list goes on and on. Zimbabwe. They will use you. I'm talking to you to tell you to stop living in denial. Paul Watson, stay there. I'm going to finish this letter. I got, this, I got the, the order right here from the military. I got it right here. This is off the charts. I, and then I got all the bills here to literally ban all guns. Ban all guns introduced. Ban them. My God, it's and then the media says none of this exists. That's another military tactic. Stay with us.